Well, hey guys and gals, it's X here. Today I've got another futuristic house for you. Let's check it out. This futuristic house was also inspired by the Venus Project, like the last one that I did. It's very similar to the last one as well with this nice archway, but it's different because it has this circular room right here, which was a lot of fun to decorate. So as we go around it, it's also got this lovely kind of white patio concrete thingy that goes around here. It's very curved and futuristic. It's got nice lines, I think. And I like the color here. People will probably be happier about that color than my usual orange border. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm really liking this one. I think that it works out pretty well. The interior is pretty interesting too. I've got some interesting stuff inside of it. Um, another thing that's interesting is this little sort of rock garden on the outside of it. Um, I quite like that. Um, I also kind of created a little bit of like, in case you wanted to put this in your jungle biome, but it could go in any biome that you choose. All right, let's go ahead and check out the interior. So we have a lovely iron door on our way in. There we go. A little rudimentary redstone. Let's check out the bedrooms first. So this is uh, bedroom number one. We have a lovely floating bed for futuristic house. And we've got, um, yeah, just a very simple bedroom. Um, there we go. Bedroom number two. This might be like maybe the little kid's room or something. Uh, there we go. And a little computer here, a little laptop. Uh, nothing too fancy. How do I get out of here? Oh yeah, there's the button. Uh, and then we've got a little bathroom right here. It's pretty cool, very standard uh, hex bathroom. And then lovely toilet. Right here, I did something a little bit different. I put in some, um, whatever these things are called, trap doors, the iron trap doors as our, uh, as our floor. And then the, I'm using end rods as like a futuristic like water spigot thingy. Um, thinking that the water might come straight out in here and then fall into the sink. Pretty cool. All right, this is my favorite part right here. We've got the interior of the round portion. And right here we have a very futuristic kitchen. I was trying to make it so that the kitchen was futuristic but also recognizable as a kitchen. So we've kind of got this right here. Um, I use these, uh, I think these are smithing tables, just the top of them as like a little tile. And then we have kind of a futuristic stove here with our, our lantern. And then we've got, um, actually that's not a lantern, that's a redstone lamp. <laughs> uh, and then we've got this lovely, lovely curved countertop here, all made out of uh, light blue shulker boxes. So you have plenty of storage for your plates and your cups and your stuff. And then we have a lovely floating table here because uh, it's futuristic and why not have a floating table? And then we've got uh, some lighting. And then this this right here is like kind of the coolest couch configuration I've ever come up with. Um, it's very, very, very futuristic where the kind of back of the couch is just sort of all over the place. And then it does have an upstairs with like a little office and sort of reading slash writing drafting area. I was trying to make like an art table, but it didn't, it, it just didn't turn out. So I came up with this right here, uh, a little impromptu indoor garden. And then we have, maybe this is our little office desk. Got to have an office desk. And then we have a little garden right there. And then right here, we've got the door to the exterior, which has some lovely lounges and a little fire uh, for you to sit and enjoy the exterior and enjoy the outdoors while it's keeping warm. And that is about it. Um, some lovely windows. And I love the art shape and the curves on this one here. Okay, let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, first you wanna go ahead and lay out the foundation. So it looks like this. The torches are just for counting. Keep in mind that there is a one block uh, depression here. So it goes down one block in the circle area. And this is the cyan terracotta, and this is white concrete that I decided to use. Okay, the next step, you're gonna go ahead and take the glass up. I'm using light stained glass. You're gonna take it up one, two, three blocks on all of this white circle all the way around like that. Then you're gonna create this shape out of the glass here. I put a column that is seven tall right there on either on uh, the right side here. So this is seven tall, so it's eight, including that block. So one uh, is that you can count with the uh, torches. And then you've got this shape. This is the curve going downwards. And then the same thing on the back, like that. 
And then this little section of wall that came out here, I brought up four tall. All right, next you're gonna line the top of the glass arch here with white concrete like that. Same thing on the other side. I just didn't put the torches over here for counting. Then you're gonna go ahead and finish off these rooms right here. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take uh, that wall that was four tall and bring it all the way out this way like that. Again, you can use the torches to count. Okay. And then I put walls in right here. So you could use the glass to count the walls and where the doors are. And here. And then if I look at it from the front, I also put some torches. So the torches are the new blocks of concrete. And then this right here is a, is a wall that goes all the way from floor to ceiling to separate the rooms. So is that. Okay, next what you're going to do is you're going to, on the exterior of that white concrete that was on top of the blue windows, you're going to go ahead and put some light blue concrete or whatever color you want. Uh, basically just making an exterior little uh, line, like a little edge. Okay, do the same thing on the back side over here, like that. There we go. And then coming this way, what you're going to do is you're going to... Uh, this was the original column that we had right here that was seven tall, uh, that one right there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go three here, then two, then two, and make sure that you have uh, white concrete on the inside. So this was our original column, then you go two, 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 like that. Okay. Do the same thing over here, except on this side right there, you're going to have a doorway to the exterior, like that. Okay, then what I did is I filled in the entire top of the circular part. Uh, so right here, if I break that, you'll see that's our glass. So the the edge of the white concrete is right above the blue stained glass. And then I added an extra edge of uh, block coming out of the light blue concrete all the way around till it matched up to there. So now go ahead and fill in the top of the arch with these windows like this. And then they come up to here. And then on this side, the windows go like this. Okay, and then uh, there is a ledge right here. Yeah. Okay, around the top of the circle part, you're gonna go ahead and just uh, line the whole thing with uh, stained glass panes using the light blue ones. And then around here to the door, uh, I put an iron door in right there. Then on each side of the arc, you're going to put in these andesite wall pieces. You could use a different kind of wall, but I think the andesite looked the best of the walls. There we go. So there, um, you can count the spaces because they're not the same all the way across. Okay. And then on the other side, I did the same thing and I put in an iron door right there. You're also going to need a pressure plate right here. I used a white one so that it blended in with the white concrete and then a gray one so it kind of uh, blended in with the, the gray floor here. Um, I suppose you could try to use a button, but then you have to swap one of these out for a solid block. I'm pretty sure. Okay, then around the circle part, what I did is I did this little um, landscaping detail where basically what I did is I just took some, uh, some, Andes, sorry, some stone slabs and just kind of placed them randomly around to make them look like rocks. You could also um, make use full blocks of the of the stone. I'm just using two slabs because I'm lazy and I don't want to switch between. Um, you can also throw in a few stairs here and there just to kind of give it a little bit rougher look like that. However you want to do it. And I took that from this point here all the way around. And you can do as much of this or as little as you like. Now we're going to build this free form type of... Uh, now we're going to go ahead and build the patio around the outside. So what I did is I went all the way around and then I put torches so that you could count. And then on ones that are just single blocks, I did not put torches just because it's obvious that those are single blocks. Okay. So where I recommend you start is from this end and start in the middle. Yeah, so you're going to come out one, two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh one. And this is not perfectly symmetrical. 
So be careful. Okay, so I'm going to go up here so you can kind of see that end. And then over here. And I put some torches at important points here just so you can count to make sure that you're still the right distance away. And if you're off by a block, it doesn't matter. If you're off by two blocks, probably better fix it. Like that. And then right here. Okay, here's the front. And then back around this way. You'll also notice that I put some pods all in front of our rocks for our little rock garden. I also built another little rock garden over here on this end, like that. Okay, to finish off the exterior, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and plant some flowers and grass. I used red flowers to offset the blue, but you can use whatever flowers you want all the way around. I also put some of these trees in, so basically it's just a some birch wood, um, whatever those things are, and then some like that. <laughs> and then on the top here, what we've got is I did a couple of little lounges out of some trapdoors, a uh, fireplace area, and these are this type of uh, chair with the trap, uh, sorry, the signs around the outside, like that. Okay. And then lastly, we put um, these andesite walls, one right there, uh, one right there. So basically on the ends of the, the two wide spots, one there, one there. And you might have to change out some of the bottom pieces uh, like this and then do that all the way around. Show you where they are. Okay. All right, for the interior, let's start in this room. So this is gonna be the kitchen floor right here. All right, so we're gonna, these are smithing tables. Then don't forget these two little green spots. Then we've got the couch. I tried the best I could to do the counting on the couch. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna come away two from this wall right here, uh, this double wall right there. You're gonna come two out and then you're gonna go one, two, three. Then you're gonna go right here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're gonna come one sort of like um, off this way, one, two, three more. Okay. The table goes right here off of this one right here. So you're gonna count one and two, and then make sure that you put five by two trap doors like this, but make sure that they're the top, like the top trap doors, if that makes sense. That's why I have this right here so you can see that it's placed on the top. Otherwise you can't put the silverware and stuff on the table. Okay, then we're gonna finish it off like, okay, then we're gonna finish it off like this. So here's that kitchen floor. I just did some shulker boxes on the outside. Then you take item frames and put them on here. And then this is a snowball. It kinda looks like a plate. And then you can take um, little pots and put them in for cups and glasses and things. Here's our kitchen right here. Okay, there has to be a redstone torch or redstone block underneath this to get that to work. Okay, right here I put in a uh, tower of bookshelves, some stairs, bamboo. Then for the couch, I just went ahead and put in some of these uh, stone slabs like this, the smooth stone slabs. Okay. And then also above the couch back, I put this on the ceiling just as an extra detail. Keep the ceiling from being too plain and bland. And here's this. And then I think I forgot to do a little table right there. There we go. That guy goes there. Okay. Uh, right here, our, our kitchen table or our dining table, I mean. Like that. And then above it, I did this detail. Okay. In here, what you're gonna do is right here next to this door into what's going to be the bathroom, you're gonna go ahead and put stairs, one, two, three, and four going up. And then these are slabs on the top. 
like this. All I put them all the way as far as they could go, all the way to here. Then what you want to do is put these on the back like that. Okay, we're going to finish off the decorations up here like this. Okay, let's go down to the bedroom here. So this bedroom right here. I decorated mine like this. Trap doors. And then I just started using these pressure plates for pillows. Like that. Here. Uh, a button here to open the door. And then one on the outside. All right, bedroom number two. Button right there. Okay, I decorated this one like this. Similar bed. I put the button up above the door because that's about the only place to fit. And last room right here, the bathroom. Okay, the bathroom is like this. These two paintings right here. That's the mirror. <laughs> Evidently, I've lost too much weight. Okay, and then the shower like this. Pressure plates here, and then also I put uh, some of this cyan terracotta down there. Banner, toilet, simple bathroom. Push the button to get out. I believe that's it. Well, guys and gals, this has been Hex. I hope you've enjoyed this futuristic house. I know I've really enjoyed building it and sharing it with you. Uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share. But more importantly, I hope you're having an amazing day, and God bless.